802.11ac is the next generation uh, Wi-Fi standard from the IEEE, uh, defined for five gigahertz devices. Uh, it introduces a number of, uh, of new techniques. Uh, 256QAM, which is a, a very advanced modulation encoding technique, which basically quadruples your, your physical layer data rate. Uh, channel bonding in 80 megahertz and 160 megahertz channels, uh, as well as a new concept of uh, multi-user MIMO where an access point can actually communicate simultaneously with uh, multiple client devices. Eleven AC will provide some benefits uh, in the enterprise market. Uh, probably the biggest benefit, actually, is the fact that it's just five gigahertz only. Um, this will, of course, cause a lot more devices uh, to support five gigahertz, which is a very capacity-rich uh, uh, band. It's um, currently a lot of smartphone devices and devices of that class are only in the 2.4 gigahertz band, and that causes a lot of problems when you have a very high density uh, type of deployment, like in a um, uh, an event center or a conference center, for example. Uh, having 11AC proliferate out to all these devices is, is really going to re dramatically increase the capacity that you have available in, in these de dense type of environments. Um, one of the things 11AC isn't really going to be um, wonderful for, you know, you, there's a lot of talk about this gigabit Wi-Fi, and these are mostly a gimmick using these 160 megahertz channels, uh, primarily f targeting consumer retail type applications. Uh, in the enterprise, that's not really very interesting. It's kind of a zero-sum game. You're, you're increasing the, key, the peak speed, but you're taking capacity away uh, from other APs. So it's, it's really not very interesting. Uh, 256 QAM, maybe very limited applications in some cases. You, you might get a little bit of an interesting bump, but it's kind of a, um, uh, you're making the best, best case uh, better, but uh, the majority of the cases aren't going to get any better with 256 QAM. 's turns out with the uh, multi-user MIMO, the antennas come back into the, the forefront. Um, multi-user MIMO is a technique where you have, in the 11AC standard, up to eight transmit antennas uh, talking to clients simultaneously, potentially up to even eight clients simultaneously if they're all single stream devices. Since most uh, mobile devices like handsets and even tablets are single stream devices, uh, having the ability to communicate with multiple of them simultaneously will increase the overall capacity. Uh, the trick here is that the, the magic is all in having very good antennas and very good properties for those antennas. Uh, Omni antennas sticking out of this AP like a porcupine probably aren't going to get the job done like people expect it to be. Um, people want internal antennas, they want them to be uh, low profile, and they want them to have uh, good characteristics whereby uh, you're getting the full benefit of this uh, advanced technology that you're paying for. And this is really the sweet spot of what Ruckus has been able to do over the years, is optimize antenna structures, optimize them specifically for the phi modes uh, that we're trying to enable, and doing that in a low profile, uh, attractive form factor.